Well, look, we are all treated to a winner-take-all game yeah. tonight. But really, this week, we all feel like winners. So let's keep it going as we hand you off to Troy, Troy, Joe, and Lisa. Welcome to a cool night in Jacksonville, Florida, in what is, in essence, a playoff game here in Week 18. And everybody in this stadium with thoughts of DeMar Hamlin, whether it's fans in the stands or players on the field, you see the number three absolutely everywhere. And you know he has to feel that watching this game in Cincinnati. Derrick Henry hoping that he can get it done here tonight and help his team break a six-game losing streak. And Trevor Lawrence's tonight is coming of age party. We shall see. Welcome to the progressive kickoff from Jacksonville. It's the Titans and the Jaguars tonight with the AFC South on the line. And now welcome inside the broadcast booth, everybody. I am Joe Buck along with the Hall of Famer, Tori Aikman. And before we set up tonight's game, we look back to that scene on Monday night in Cincinnati, and I think of it now in a situation that started with so much fear and sadness now has evolved with so much hope for DeMar Hamlin. And ultimately, I, I would say that it's brought people together, not just sports fans, but people across this country. And as they continue their courageous fight, I just know the Hamlin family has to feel it. Yeah, I agree. I, I'd like to believe that the outpour of prayer and support made an impact on his recovery I'm certain it did and I'm also certain that DeMar Hamlin and his family uh, felt the love of an entire country as we look ahead to tonight's game and it should be some scene this place is packed and they have already been loud it's going to be fun these are two teams going in opposite directions at least coming in and we'll start with the Jacksonville Jaguars a team that's fun to watch and uh, man, they've won four games in a row. They are a dangerous team. Well, they really are. I mean, there was a time where it looked like the same old Jags. And then midseason, you know, they got Doug Peterson, who felt that they could get to this point. And I believe that he should be strongly considered for coach of the year. Just a terrific job turning around this ship midseason. Not easy to do. And the big reason why, of course, has been the play of the second year quarterback, Trevor Lawrence. He has been as hot as anybody in football here over the last half of the year. So they've won four in a row. The Tennessee Titans have lost six in a row. And if they're ever going to ride a running back, it's Tennessee tonight with a great Derrick Henry. Yeah, it's hard to believe that you could lose six straight games and still be in a ball game in week 18 to win the division. And Joshua Dobbs gets his second start tonight. And that's the reason why they're going to be relying more than ever on Derrick Henry. He had a big night the last time these two teams played week 14. It's going to take another one of those efforts, and he's going to get a lot of opportunity in this game tonight. Well, just moments ago, we got to witness yet another special moment on an NFL playing field as these two teams fighting for the division tonight came together for a group prayer. It was, uh, it was a strong scene. We're getting set for the Titans and the Jaguars with a special moment of support for DeMar Hamlin, coming up next here in Jacksonville. ESPN welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Going to be a fun one tonight. The Jaguars won the toss. They defer. Tennessee will start the night with a football. This place is packed. Standing room only here in Jacksonville. Glad you're with us tonight. 